Streamlining 911. Kamek Village police leaders are asking for a major change in how police officers are sent to calls. Right now, Maumel Police dispatch Kamek Village officers to 911 calls. But a new proposal would take Maumel out of the equation and give dispatching powers to Little Rock. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy in studio explaining how it would work and why LRPD leaders say it is desperately needed. Yeah, Kevin and Donna, good evening. Right now, if you call 911 from a cell phone and need help inside Kamek Village, some say there are too many hoops to get help on the way. This new proposal, which the Little Rock Board will have to vote on next week, would speed that process up. As night falls in Kamek Village, Jennifer Skinner will go to sleep with peace of mind. I love the community. Skinner's called Kamek Village home for years and says she feels safe. But I think our officers do an outstanding job. Skinner is surprised to learn if she calls 911 from her cell phone, it would go to Little Rock 911. They would transfer a call to Maumel. Then Maumel PD would then send Kamek Village officers to her. I've had no problem with the current system. A new proposal would cut Maumel PD out of the circle. <laughs> Little Rock 911. Giving LRPD power to dispatch Kamek Village officers. We have challenges with respect to our dispatch services, so us taking this on, will this add any needs for, requiring the need for any additional staffing? Their call load is so minimal, it would equal approximately one dispatch a day for us. LRPD says it would improve officer safety in major emergencies, including at Little Rock's Thomas Jefferson Elementary School inside Kamek Village limits. Both for Kamek Village officers and for Little Rock officers, by them staying on the same radio channel. The time of us having to get the call from Maumel or potentially get the call, bounce it to Maumel and then come back to Little Rock. That's just additional downtime that it would take for us to possibly have to respond to something critical. With the idea on the table, Skinner says she's open to hearing more. And it would be less delay than definitely go with it. But if not, then keep it the same. Kemick Village would pay Little Rock $13,000 a year for the service. The Board of Directors will vote on the issue next week. Right now, the Little Rock Fire Department is already on board. Kemick Village pays LRFD $10,000 a year for that. To put this into perspective, LRPD dispatches about 400 calls a day, and we're told last year we're there were about 366 calls dispatched for Kemick Village. So as you heard, the Little Rock Police Department say we're talking about one dispatch call a day. It yeah. would average out to that. But LRPD is saying that this will help with warrant searches too. How's that? Yeah, so the Little Rock District Court will be uh, hearing the felony cases uh, in Kemick Village, which means that uh, warrants that are issued would go from Little Rock District Court. And the way that that process would, uh, the way, well, I guess the way that the process works right now is Little Rock District Court would send the warrants over to the LRPD building. Mm. So if LRPD is dispatching for Kamek Village, it's easy to verify that sense. warrant instead of Maumel PD calling LRPD to verify the warrant, then LRPD calling Maumel, then telling Kamek Village. The whole system is, is a mess. So what they're trying to do is they're just trying to streamline, streamline it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we said in the very beginning, just streamline <laughs> Pretty it. Pretty much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Mitch. Thanks. Thank you.